Welcome in to the Daytona Dual Pre-Race Show. Very quickly, we are going to run down what happened earlier today in dual qualifying. Your pole sitter for dual number one will be Michael McDowell. And we're going to see Burton, Keselowski, Hemrick, Busher, Sendrick, Kyle Busch, Jesse Love, Austin Hill, William Byron, Kyle Larson, Myatt Snyder, Travis Kavoffel, Ross Jastain, Ryan Blaney, Hosevar, Allgaier, Josh Berry, Travis Pastrana, Matt Benedetto, Chase Elliott, Robbie Gordon, Haley Deegan, Greg Biffle, Joey Logano, JJ Yaley, Shane Van Gisbergen, Ryan Preece, Corey LaJoy, Tyler Reddick, Kaz Grala, Brendan Poole, Daniel Kvyat, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Austin Dillon, Alex Bowman. We're going to see Zane Smith, Rudiman, Briscoe, Bell, John Hunter Nemechek, Suarez, Brandon Jones, Gilliland, Johnson, Herbst, Alfredo, Kurt Busch, Bubba Wallace, Truex, Ryan Truex, Boris Said, Ty Gibbs, Martin Truex Jr., Justin Haley, Noah Gragson, Connor Daly, Denny Hamlin, Joey Gase, Connor Mosack, and Eric Jones rounds out the qualifying order. Times are next to drivers' names. That'll do it. Let's head to the duels from Daytona. Welcome in, everybody, to Daytona and the duels. We're here. Gonna be duel number one rolling out onto the track. Let's go on ahead and go over your starting lineup. We're gonna see Michael McDowell starting on the pole next to Brad Keselowski. Then we're gonna see Chris Busher, Kyle Busch in the next row. Kyle Larson and Austin Hill. Then we're gonna see Ryan Blaney and Travis Kavapel. Gonna be Allgaier, Pastrana, Elliot Deegan, Logano, Van Gisbergen. Um, LaJoy, Grala, Kvyat, Austin Dillon, Zane Smith, Chase Briscoe, Nemechek and Austin Hill, or Nemechek and Brandon Jones, Jimmy Johnson, Anthony Alfredo, Bubba Wallace. Mar Boris Said's going to be back there. So is Martin Church Jr., Noah Gragson, and Denny Hamlin. Here we go. Green flag is in the air now for Daytona duel number one. See what these 30 race cars can do. I believe Corey LaJoy has already had a mechanic problem, maybe? We'll get updates on that here in just a second. Right now, though, we're uh, side by side. Of course, this is Daytona, though. There's going to be two lines of drafting trains. We're seeing uh, there shouldn't be much movement in this first lap. Bottom lane looks to have some good runs. Drivers must finish inside the top 20 today to make the show. No one is guaranteed in. Not even your pole sitter for the duels. Of course, though, as long as the two 
as long as the two, t uh, as long as the top two from the duels make the show, they are guaranteed to start on the front row for the 500. But you know, they're not guaranteed to make the show. So Brakozowski is going to end up getting to the front. Seeing a lot of the open cars up here too. Which we like to see, but we need to see some of those normal guys, some of those normal full-time guys make it in. A lot of them right now are, there's a good chunk right now below the cut line. Guys like Gragson, Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, all the way back there. Corey LaJoy did indeed have a mechanical issue, we have confirm confirmation of that. So he will not make the Daytona 500. Unfortunate for Spire Motorsports to already be missing a car in the 500. Now three wide here at Daytona. Three different lanes are seeing, seeming like they're going to work themselves out here. Justin Allgaier is trying to get to the front as well as Chris Buescher. A lot of these full-time guys trying to get their way to the front. Of course, they know they have the car to make it to the front. A lot of the open guys that aren't with top teams may not have that same chance. Yeah, McDowell up on that top lane next to Austin Hill and Kyle Busch, but they're starting to fall back through the pack here. Justin Allgaier is going to lead a lap. So we have Joey Logano is the car leading the second row, and behind is... Uh, Starcom and Kaz Grala. The Zane Smith. Interestingly enough, still, the 11 car is still out of the transfer spots right now. It's not a great look. We're five laps deep into the duels here. Kyle Busch starting to slowly fall back. He could end up out of the duel, out of the 500 by the end of this race. Of course, 500 is the most prestigious event on the calendar. That's why we have 60 cars showing up to race here at the duels to try their hand at making the 500. But... Uh, to see top level guys go home, it would be a absolute shocker of a night. Or I guess of a day here in Daytona. Grala going to the high lane. So is Justin Allgaier. But no one is going to go with them. Zane Smith is going to lead this lap. The Fords and the Chevys do, of course, have the better cars here in Daytona, and there are a lot of them. The Toyotas have struggled in super speedway racing for a while now. Need to go ahead and refocus on a new car. We're going to focus on Kyle Larson here. Not much happening right now. Three, still three lanes. Chase Elliott's going to try to split the middle. Of course, though, no one's going with Chase Elliott, so... so splitting that middle might not be as easy. Chase Briscoe is now going to end up in the lead. He started all the way back on the transfer spot, which means that it can be done. You can come through this field and end up in a transfer position. Especially these top-level cars that are racing full-time, they're going to want to be in these transfer spots. Right now, 
Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch are your full-time drivers that are out. So is John Hunter Nemechek. And we're eight laps in. Of course, this is Daytona, though, so anything can happen. Still trying to make three lines work. Larson's on the bottom. Kvyat is there, too. And so is Brandon Jones in the 62. Briscoe still leads. Top three are starting to try to check out. There's Corey LaJoy. He needs a yellow, but he's about to be lapped, so it won't really matter. Had a mechanical issue, had to pull down pit road, get it fixed. He needs a yellow, but that may not happen. Corey LaJoy is still out there. Larson's going to go down to the bottom. That's an interesting move, considering there's no help on the bottom right now. Bottom lane has some good numbers right now. Kyle Busch is one of your few cars that are full-time that are out right now. Of course, drivers who don't make the 500 can still make the playoffs as long as they win. They will receive an eligibility waiver. But, um... Missing the 500, though, that's a massive blow to a team's points. And if you don't come out and perform in Homestead or Irwindale, that could very much leave you in a position where you have to fight to qualify through open qualifying. If open cars show up to, to the next couple races after Irwindale. Of course, Long Beach is one of those. And we're expecting some road course ringers to show up in open cars, which could mean open qualifying will take place. There aren't a lot of cars we expect to race in different places. Right now, Chase Briscoe still holds the lead. Bubba Wallace, interestingly enough, is up there in second. Alfredo's made his way to the front. So is Martin Truex Jr. He said he isn't going home without a fight. Oscar, or uh, Oscar. Travis Pastrana. Up there in seventh. Kvyat still in the transfer spots. Coming down to about seven to go. Here now. Briscoe still leads. Denny Hamlin has shot his way to the front. Good lad. Ryan Blaney and Kyle Busch still need to get up into the top 20, as does Michael McDowell and Corey... No, and John Hunter Nemechek. Corey LaJoy is already pretty much done. 
If McDowell isn't inside of the top 20, he does not maintain his spot in the 500. He must be inside the top 20. Otherwise, Harrison Burton moves up on to the pole of the 500. As long as he makes the show. If neither one of them make the show, it will go to the cars that qualified on the second row. Which would be Brad Keselowski and Daniel Hemrick. So, McDowell missing the show would be beneficial to the cars behind him. But not so much for him. Larson going down to the bottom. He's going to try to make a move for the lead here. Can he get one to stick? Interesting to see the BK Racing car of Connor Mosak all the way up from last to the front. Jimmy Johnson's up here inside the top 20 right now. Ryan Blaney is still out. Brad Keselowski is out right now. That's worrisome. We're under five to go here in Daytona. Every car needs to be jockeying for these positions. Not a whole lot of them in the show. Right now, Justin Allgaier is out. Of course, though, Junior Motorsports has no points last year. They'd still have to fight their way through open qualifying in Long Beach. We know, of course, the first three races are using last year's. The only race in the first three that uses last year's points is Homestead. But, um, who knows if we'll even see any open cars in Homestead. Right now, though, Larson's still up here. So is Hamlin. Hamlin took the lead. Noah Gragson is up here now. As is Joey Logano and Austin Dillon. A lot of cars managed to make their way from the back to the front. Haley Deegan back up here in a transfer spot. Jimmy Johnson is as well. McDowell looking like he might not make the show. He's currently sitting 29th. If McDowell doesn't make the show here, could be disastrous for Front Row Motorsports. We have to wait and see. We're coming to two to go from duel number one in Daytona. Still has the lead. Johnson's on the outside with Briscoe, Dillon, and Mosak. Hamlin. Hamlin has is trying to block now from Gragson and Larson. Haley Deegan is up here trying to potentially see about making it further up the order. Kyle Bush is back up here. Right now, Chase Elliott is one of your full-time cars out. John Henry Nemechek. Michael McDowell and Brad Keselowski are also all out of the show right now. White flag is in the air from duel number one at Daytona. Time to see who is gonna make a transfer spot and who's gonna win the duel. Hamlin looking to block from Logano. Larson staying up there. Deegan has a run on the bottom. Kyle Busch is going with Haley Deegan right now. So is the 66 of Boris said. Time to see who's made it and who hasn't. Checkered flag will wave from Daytona. Denny Hamlin. Wins duel number one.
officially in a transfer spot from Daytona. Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano, Haley Deegan, Noah Gragson, Kyle Busch, Anthony Alfredo, Kyle Larson, Boris Said, Travis Pastrana, Chris Busher, Ryan Blaney, Zane Smith, Jimmy Johnson, Shane Van Gisbergen, Bubba Wallace, Connor Mosak, Austin Hill, Brandon Jones, Chase Briscoe, and Kaz Grala. Drivers that have officially missed the Daytona 500. Chase Elliott. Geikers. Austin Dillon. Justin Allgaier. Daniel Kvyat. Brad Keselowski. Martin Truex Jr. John Hunter Nemechek. Michael McDowell. And Travis Kvapel. Unfortunately. With Elliott. Dillon. Keselowski, Truex, Nemechek, and McDowell all going home. That's going to make for a total. A total full-time car count of exactly... Six or seven, possibly eight full-time cars already going home here. So, it's going to be real interesting come Long Beach if these guys can't pull their owner's points up before Long Beach with the expectation of Road Ringers running. That'll do it from duel number one in Daytona. We're going to head on down to duel number two now. Here we go, duel number two from Daytona. Cars are rolling off. Let's go over your starting order. Harrison Burton and Daniel Hemrick are on the front row. Then we're going to see Cendric and Jesse Love. Behind them is Myatt Snyder and William Byron. Then we're going to see Chastain and Hosovar. This is going to be Josh Berry and Matt DiBenedetto. Next up is Robbie Gordon and Greg Biffle. Then we're going to have J.J. Yaley and Ryan Priest. Going to be Tyler Reddick and Brennan Poole. And then Stenhouse and Bowman. Then reigning champion Christopher Bell next to Daniel Suarez. Further back is Gilliland Herbst. Kurt Busch, Ryan Truex, Ty Gibbs, Justin Haley, Connor Daly, Joey Gase, and Eric Jones. Let's go back up to the front here. Pace car is going to be pulling off this time by... Go sit on Jesse Love's car with the camera. 20 laps here to determine... The outside starting lane for Daytona. Of course, Harrison Burton will get second as long as he makes the show to start the Daytona 500. If he does not make the show, it will go to the next car that qualified the highest for duel number two that makes the show. Here we go. Into the Geico restart zone. Green flag is in the air and we are underway in Daytona for duel number two. Very much, uh, again, it's Daytona two wide racing. A lot of rookies in the field, though. Get to have a little bit of fun with Daytona. Can't really, um, you know, not much to commentate, but we get to have a little fun here. Looking like they're going to try to potentially make three lanes already. Cendric, of course, on the bottom. Hemrick and Jesse Love going to the top. Cendric is going to go and get to the lead. Pretty 
pretty close still. Alex Bowman's trying to make a third lane. He's actually got a lot of cars going with him. Some of the top guys are going to go with Cendric. Byron's going to the middle. Byron holds bottom. Cendric's pushed all the way to the top. He has no help. He can't get back ahead. His Penske teammate Harrison Burton is with him right now, but I don't think that's going to be much to say. I mean, the Wood Brothers are our fourth Penske car, so. Three lanes here. High side is not got a lot of help compared to the middle and low lanes. Ross Chastain is going to lead this lap here. Try to get forward again. Interestingly enough, Hemrick's now in the middle. Barry's on the outside. The Fords work in the outside. William Byron is going to stay up high with the Fords. Here comes Robbie Gordon in his 07 car. On the bottom, he might be able to take the lead and lead a lap here in Daytona. Hello, what a shocker that would be. Right now, Christopher Bell is out of the show. If not a good look for the reigning champ. I'm just saying. <laughs> Robbie Gordon. Not going to lead a lap, I don't believe. J.J. Yaley is down on the bottom now. Gordon has no help right now in the center. Daniel Hemrick is too far back. So is Jesse Love and Myatt Snyder there. Yaley going to go to the top side. Reddick's going to stay on the bottom. Stenhouse and David Rudiman are with him on the bottom. So are Daniel Suarez. Riley Herbst is back there too. Reddick's going to lead a lap here in Daytona. Whole field is pretty close. Reddick gonna hold middle. That's pretty a, much a bad idea. As Ricky Sinas Jr. tries to come to the bottom, he will get to the bottom. Reddick's going to try to slide up to the top. Robbie Gordon is going to have help from Hemrick and Chastain on the very top lane. Middle lane is kind of getting drug out. J.J. Yaley is going to lead this lap. We are at 15 to go here from Daytona for the duels. Of course, this is a lovely Saturday. Set in the field for Daytona. Okay, we gotta get on a car further up the grid. Let's go to Riley Herbst in the center here. Three Monster Energy cars, four Monster Energy cars total in this heat, of course. Um, Kurt Busch is in this heat as well. He's on the back of the field right now. Kurt Busch in his return to Daytona not qualifying to the race would be a huge blow to 2311 and his championship chances already this season. Not good looks. Bell has fought his way inside the top 20. We're three wide racing in Daytona. A lot of cars choosing middle to bottom. David Rudiman in the BK Racing 83 has shot up to the front pretty easily. I mean, wow.
Herbst is up here. Middle lane looks to be starting to kind of fall back a little bit. Which isn't great. Ty Gibbs has managed to get up to the front. Ryan Truex is up here at the front as well. The Toyotas don't have much qualifying pace here at Daytona, but they have some insane race pace. The cars are as the uh, they work their way through the field to the front. Christopher Bell is in right now. Other notable names out. Ross Chastain, Matt DiBenedetto, Josh Berry, Harrison Burton, Ryan Priest, and Austin Sendrick are all sitting below that cut line right now. That's over half the cut line. Um, yikes. Yikes. Are those guys behind? Coming around to, uh... Well, about 10 of 20 at the halfway point of this race. Chris Rebell has managed to make his way up to the front, as has Justin Haley. A lot of the front running cars at the start have fallen back. Eric Jones is up here now. Of course. Joe Gibbs, fifth car, Ryan Truex up here. Can't say much about that. The 81 is a very fast race car. But David Rudiman looks to have this three wide field on lock right now. That BK Racing Machine is looking great. Bell trying to get to the front. Gonna use Justin Haley maybe as a push car to get up past David Rudiman. Not quite gonna work. Bottom lane's gonna have the run. Bell's not gonna to go to the bottom. He's gonna slide back to the middle with his JGR teammate of Ryan Truex. Actually gonna go full top now. He's going to lead that middle lane through the front straightaway. Rudiman has not dropped the lead. He's been leading for a good four or five laps now. Rudiman really able to find speed in a car that a lot of people didn't expect to have speed. The BK Racing team interestingly enough is one of the faster cars here. Comes Todd Gilliland up to the front. As has Connor Daly. He's made his way to the front. And Joey Gase. What a interesting time here from Daytona. David Rudiman leading this race still is pretty wild. Kurt, yeah, Kurt Busch has made his way up to the front. Now, finally, not as many cars on the outside looking in, but still a good amount of regular full-time cars right now out of the show.
Rudiman still leads. Leader of that middle lane right now, Connor Daly. Matt Benedetto is on the bottom. And Eric Jones on the top. Top lane might not have that much pace, but... Going to see maybe Connor Daly can get to the front. No one has been able to challenge David Rudiman so far since he's managed to make his way to the front. Just seems like none of these cars have the pace, and they're all battling amongst themselves. Meanwhile, Rudiman has just been able to absolutely stay ahead in Daytona. The officials might have to double check the BK Racing car because no one behind with draft can challenge Rudiman. Of course, everyone trying to keep it clean here. Five to go from Daytona for duel number two. Harrison Burton back up to the front. He's in the show, which would mean he would start second in the Daytona 500. Cendric and Robbie Gordon have made their way back up to the front as well. A lot of those front-running cars now, once again, falling to the back, but a lot of the back markers falling to the front. This is Daytona. Anything can happen. Here still with... Just four laps to go now. Four laps is a lot of time in Daytona. There's a nice drafting train going on here, though. No one wants to try to deviate from that bottom. Bottom lane is getting pushed out right now. No one wants to try to challenge David Rudman. Robbie Gordon, Harrison Burton might try to challenge Rudiman. Robbie Gordon's going to go with Harrison Burton on the bottom. They're going to challenge David Rudiman on the bottom. They've got a car in there. Rudiman's going to hold the lead for the lap. Three to go here from Daytona. Gordon accidentally moved to the middle lane. Byron is now the push car for Harrison Burton. Burton's going to go middle with his teammate. He's going to try to slide up. He's going to slide up in front of David Rudiman. Harrison Burton has the lead of the duel. Carson Hosebar is up here. So is Tyler Reddick. Still a lot of cars to try to make this show. Coming around two to go from Daytona. Burton no longer has the lead. Byron and Jesse Love are up there now. So is Hosevar. Hosevar in third. Robbie Gordon trying to get a push from Matt Benedetto and Todd Gilliland potentially to get back in front of Tyler Reddick here. Greg Biffle's on the bottom. We're coming around to the white flag for duel number two. Who's going to win and advance into the Daytona 500? Anything can happen. We still have. We still have an eye on these transfer spots. Right now, we're looking at Herbst, Bowman, Hemrick, Priest, and Ty Gibbs, who are out of the 500 right now. Here we go, through three and four from Daytona. Going to run down to the line. William Byron is going to take duel number two from Daytona. What a race. 
Not much happened, but still a great race. And the field is now set for tomorrow's Daytona 500. Your cars in the show, Byron, Love, Hosevar, Reddick, Greg Biffle, Robbie Gordon, Josh Berry, Matt DiBenedetto, JJ Yaley, Harrison Burton, Todd Gilliland, Joey Gase, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., David Rudiman, Kurt Busch, Austin Sindrick, Ross Chastain, Connor Daly, Brennan Poole, and Eric Jones. Your cars who are out of the show. Alex Bowman. The unfortunate news that reigning champion Christopher Bell might not be racing tomorrow. Yikes. Daniel Suarez, Riley Herbst, Daniel Hemrick, Myatt Snyder, Ryan Truex, Ryan Priest, Ty Gibbs, Justin Haley are all headed home. Unfortunate to see a lot more full-time racers go home from Daytona, but that is the nature of the duels. Welcome in to the duel post-race show. We're going to be going over the starting lineup for tomorrow's Daytona 500. Chris Buescher going to open us up. He was the highest qualifying duel finisher in duel number one. Then we're going to have Harrison Burton lead Denny Hamlin and William Byron. From there, it's going to be Joey Logano, Jesse Love, Haley Deegan, Carson Hosevar, Noah Gragson, Tyler Reddick, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, Anthony Alfredo, Robbie Gordon, Kyle Larson, Josh Berry, Boris Said, Matt DiBenedetto, Travis Pastrana, JJ Yaley, Ryan Blaney, Todd Gilland, Zane Smith, Joey Gase, Jimmy Johnson, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Shane Van Gisbergen, David Rudiman, Bubba Wallace, Kurt Busch, Connor Mosak, Austin Sendrick, Austin Hill, Ross Chastain, Brandon Jones, Connor Daly, Chase Briscoe, Brennan Poole, Kaz Grala, and Eric Jones. That rounds out the Daytona 500 starting lineup for tomorrow's race. We'll see you then for the Daytona 500.